Hey guys, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of After Class, Mark's episode. So let's go ahead and pick up where we left off, guys. We were just shopping around for some more bread at Publix. <laughs> but yeah, guys, please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes. Let me detain you and let's jump right in. Alarm changer up and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Why didn't you say so? I uh, didn't get a chance to say it. <laughs> well, put those away. Huh? Why? How about my breakfast? We gotta get something to eat first. We'll come back later. It's fine. I'm not that hungry. He said that, but his stomach just spoke out loud, a.k.a. growling. Well, shit, I insist. Come on, or I'll be mad. Uh, goodbye, my loves. Did he just put the bread back to the shelves and say goodbye to them? I'm just gonna drag him out of here before he does some more weird stuff. I said it's fine, though. Got to your stomach, and that's the reason I came here anyway. Bread, um, um, num num. Huh, I thought we we're gonna eat outside. It's raining outside, Henry. No, I mean, I'm a little bit taken aback by the size of this place. From the outside, it didn't look that big. Well, this is the main grocery in Highwell. I mean, there are smaller ones here and there, and there near my place. But none of these are, none of those are con as convenient as Publix. Huh, I, I guess that's true. This place must be bigger than I thought. Yep, this place is big! I heard the food here uses fresh produce from this grocery. That's nice. So, order me a nasi uduk from the Indonesian food corner over there, and I'll find a place for us to sit. A nasi uduk? What is that? Um, uh, it's a steamed rice cooked in coconut milk dish originally from Jakarta. It literally means mixed rice in, Bata in Batawi dialect. I see. I'm surprised you knew something like that. <coughs> Wikipedia. Hint, it's not. Hint, it's not. I'm from there. Here's the money. Get something for yourself, too. My treat. Once I handed him my money, I walked away, trying to find myself, trying to find some place to sit down for both of us. Let's see. Those tables are occupied, and the ones available aren't the best seats or the one I want. I wonder if I should just wait or go for it. The more I wait, the more seats are getting occupied. Ah, oh, fuck it, I'll just sit here. I was hoping I could find a nice place for us to sit together. I sit down, realizing that I didn't tell him what I wanted to drink. Oh well, he'll figure it out. <laughs> I've been waiting for about ten minutes, and I'm getting impatient. Is he okay? Did he manage to order our food? All kind of thoughts swarm across my mind. And I see him looking for me, and I, so I stand up and wave my hand, hoping he'll see me. He saw me, and I gestured to come, for him to come here. Um, they gave me another receipt and a wooden plate with number 16 on it. And? Well, what's next? You just put the wooden plate on the table. The waiter will come with our food. Interesting, this is a little bit different from home. Maybe now's a good time to get to know him. I see. So, uh, you're new to Highwell, yes? Yeah. How is it compared to your old town? Different, but not in a bad way. The weather is nice, it's not that crowded, and everyone is friendly at school. I bet that's because of your cute face. What? That's not true! You can deny it all you want, but I think you have a cute face. He does. Ah! Look at you, getting flustered over a compliment. Interesting. It's just too sudden, that's all. Anyway, speaking of Highwell, are you from here? Hmm. I was born here, then I moved somewhere else and lived for five years with my grandma. Well, it's technically, I'm still Highwell. It's nowhere in Highwell. Everything was going well until... I came back to this town because my dad asked me to come back. I was six back then. It wasn't five. I don't really remember what happened before that. Anyway, that's not important. You can say that I'm very familiar with this town. All right. Well, how old are you? I'm 21. Oh, you're younger than me. I'm surprised you didn't know. Well, to be fair, I've forgotten about him until yesterday, so I shouldn't get on his case. Hey, we just met for a day, okay? You don't look any younger than me. That's just rude. I'm joking. What did you get for food? I got... Never mind that. I can just look at the receipt. Ah, the same, huh? Yeah, I don't know anything about Indonesian food, so I just ordered the same thing. Hell, you won't be disappointed. There you go. Okay. There. Hell, you, know, you won't be disappointed. How can you be so sure? Because I said so. Okay. Why is it taking so long? Oh, come on, Mark. It's only been five minutes. There's no way they can make it that fast. He did not just say that. 
Is there something on my face? I didn't know you had common sense. Excuse me? What? Nothing, nothing. Fine, I'll remember that. Heh, <laughs> make sure you do. My phone vibrated. What is it now? I hope it's not from that psycho. Oh, it wasn't him. Thank goodness it wasn't him. I wouldn't want to lose my cool in front of this guy. Hey, look at this. They posted a new trailer. His ears perked up. Well, it's not like they weren't the whole time. I admit his body language. He's so he's interested, so I scoot over, showing the trailer. This looks interesting. What is this game? This one is called Queendom Hearts 3. It's from the Queendom Hearts series. Queendom Hearts? It sounds familiar. What is it about? It's about a 14-year-old boy named Sky. So in the first game, he's separated from his friends when, the, when their world, Fate Islands, is invaded by creatures known as the No Heart. Oh my god. God, explaining. Oh my god. Having Kingdom Hearts lore explained to you is an event in and of itself. It is batshit insane. <laughs> I did my best to explain the whole series to him. I'd be kneeling in front of him if he understood any of it, really. Despite that, he listened to me all the way through. It's kind of sweet of him to do that. <laughs> I think that's all about this game. Whoa, you know a lot about this game. I'm a big fan. I see. That's good to know. So, what's your opinion about this game series? I think it's awesome. I don't see a lot of commercially successful crossover games. Right? I'm glad they decided to make this game. Yeah, I love how they connect the storyline. It sounds complicated, but the way you explained it makes it sound easier to understand. Really? I'm glad then. On second thought, maybe I won't kneel in front of him after all. This bread boy is brighter than I thought. I can show you the game if you want. You have the game? Yeah, all the main games and spin-offs. Whoa, then I, can I play it too? Yeah, sure, if you want to. Yes, please, that would be great. Great, I'll let you know when I'm free. He's grinning from ear to ear. Damn, that's cute. But I noticed that we've been sitting, sitting so close. I should try to find something to distract ourselves. Ah, about time they give us our food. The waiter who's walking toward us is my savior. What good timing. Since he's going to put our food down, I quickly move to my seat. Hey there, sorry for the wait. We had a bit of trouble in the kitchen. <laughs> it's okay. Well then, two nasi uduk and iced tea, one iced tea and one iced lemon tea. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. He put all of our order on the table. The food looked delicious and smelled good too. Now that the food is here, let's dig in. Yeah, don't mind if I do. He takes a bite of his food and his eyebrows raised in surprise, as if he wasn't expecting it at all. Oh, the rice itself tastes really good. Yeah, they cooked it in coconut milk. That's why it tastes great. You should try the chicken, it's even better. Oh, wow. It's great, right? It's not like any other chicken I've tasted before. That's Indonesian food for you. I think Indonesian food is my new favorite food. <laughs> That's great. It's my favorite food, too. You might be a little bit biased. We finished eating our lunch. It was really nice. Henry seemed like he's having a fun too, so that's good for me. I'm stuffed. Thanks for the food. It was good. Yeah, it really was. Let's head back downstairs and get your bread before we go home. Yeah, I think that the rain's letting up too. Oh, who's this? Look who I find here, Anders Dixon. Never thought I'd see him on the other side of the counter. Music is adorable. Anders, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't know you work here. Ah, oh, I just started today. Ha! Huh, no wonder I've never seen you here until now. So, he was here yesterday for his interview or something? Hmm. Everything suddenly goes quiet, and he feels like he needs to break the silence. Ah, uh, actually, I want to pay now. Ah, sorry, got distracted. But no, don't apologize. Anders scanned our items one by one accurately. It always baffles me how precise he is with the things he does. After he's done scanning, the amount we need to pay is being shown on the screen, so I grab my money and hand it to him. Hey, what are you doing? Paying? I know, but it's my stuff. Well, I'm paying for you. But why? Think of it as a thank you for eating out with me today, yeah? You also treated me to lunch. He's got a point, but it's really for eating lunch with me. Other than Abby and Anders sometimes, I don't really have someone else to eat out with, so it was a nice change. So? Mm. Thank you. Don't mention it. Um, thank you for shopping with us. See you tomorrow, Anders. Hmm. It's not raining, finally. I didn't realize the sun had set. Ah, we can go home now. Yay! Yep. Well, I'm going now. Thank you for coming here with me, Mark. No problem. Thanks for hanging out with me. It was fun. Anytime. Don't forget to store your bread properly. I wave my, I wave my hand as I walk toward. Well, somewhere else while playing with my phone. 
I'm not sure why I'd do that. My home's not not that way. I guess I could go back go back once he's gone. After making sure that he's nowhere near there, I go back to the bus stop by Publix. I take his pencil case out of my bag. Oops, forgot to return this to him. Maybe I didn't forget. I just wanted to keep it with me for some reason. He said we just met for a day. Well, it's been two days. But technically, we've known each other since a long time ago. That means he doesn't remember meeting me at all during his childhood. That aside, holding this pencil case isn't convenient. So the bags, so to the bag it goes. It's fine, I guess. Suddenly, I feel like walking back home instead of taking the bus. So I walk instead of waiting for the bus. Time to go back to that hell house. At least it's not as hellish as it was years ago. As I walk, I keep thinking about it. Should I pretend that I don't know him, or do I tell him everything? If I tell him, well, what should I talk about? I don't know that much about our past encounter. Maybe I'll keep it a secret, or at least until I know more. Yeah, it's chilly. Fuck walking home, I'm waiting for the bus. And I walk back to the bus stop. God, dude, your room is fucking nice. Like, is that a, is that, is like, is that a... Is, does he just have a fucking bath just right there in the middle of his of his bedroom? Right out of the middle of the side. Still, that's nuts. Hmm. After saying goodnight to my brother, I headed to my room and plopped myself onto the bed. I was thinking about taking a quick bath, but I'm too lazy to do that right now. Hmm. I stared at that box I found in Dad's storage. Wondered what that wondered about that picture I saw. Ooh, excuse me. Kind of thinking, but I think I saw familiar faces in that picture. I get up and reach for the box, grabbing the picture inside it. Let's see. There were seven people in it. Henry. Henry. Someone that looks like him. A bear that looks like Mr. Stone. Some random tiger guy. Isn't that Coach Gill? And there's my brother and I. I wonder if they know anything about it. I should ask them tomorrow. Them isn't Coach Gill, since I don't feel like I can trust this Mr. Stone yet, just yet. I can't ask my dad, like I said before, for obvious reasons. But I think eventually I'll have to ask him. Ugh. Really ain't thinking like this. It gets me overthinking sometimes. I should just give it a rest for now and head to bed. I'm tired. Later, that evening, the following sounds were heard. <laughs> I spent several hours turning and tossing about. I don't know why, but sleep feels like a chore rather than something I need nowadays. <laughs> Is it even Wednesday? pick up my phone to satisfy my sheer curiosity. It is Wednesday. I guess I gotta get up instead of stressing over the fact that I can't fall asleep. I don't feel tired anyway. Feels like I can take the whole world on today. Woo! Whoa! <gasps> what, what, what just happened? What, what am I doing here? I don't know what happened whilst I was out, but I think I just went, some, went out somewhere else. This is from the view. I think it's the playground? All I can see right now is Henry trying to find a seat next to me. What else did I do? Crap, I don't remember anything. Did I have an episode? It couldn't be. No, actually, that might be right. If it was true, then I should ask my dad. Should I ask him what I've been doing with him? No, he might think that I'm a weirdo. Think hard, Mark. There's gotta be something you can remember. You gotta just stand there. Are you gonna go back in and change clothes? That was fast. Didn't you, didn't, you didn't use soap or anything, did you? Oh, please. Even without soap, I'm spotless. Plus, that'll do, considering it's not even six in the morning. Yeah, that's on me. It can't be help. We're getting donuts, after all. I got caught up in the moment. Sorry. <sighs> you good now? Yep. I'll buy you lunch, too. I guess I'm in a mood today. You really don't have to do that. You're right. I don't have to. But I'm going to. Oh, come on. It's the best when the wind's running through your fur. Maybe when I'm done digesting donuts, I'll go for it. Being a bitch. Donuts being a bitch. Donuts possibly tender moments. Got it. So... Say something that's not entirely related to those things, and but still brushing against it. Hey. Hmm? Thanks for humoring me. Huh? Uh, oh, it wasn't any trouble. <laughs> Liar. I'm not lying. <laughs> but maybe not now. I appreciate it. When I'm in a good mood, it just takes hold of me and gets me going and going and going. I know it can be overwhelming for some people, but I honestly just got too carried away to even tell you. I'll just assume that I had a manic episode. So saying that was saying so saying that was a safe bet. It's okay, I had fun. Shit, what if it's not? I don't want the same thing to happen again. I've... I've lost friends, uh, for antics like that, more than once. I don't mean any harm, I just wanted to sh wanted them to share in my joy. And being hyper aside, good moods are meant to be shared, you know? And so I'm glad you started, sh started getting into it, too. 
Mark? Yes? Uh, I was just... I wasn't going to say anything. What? So, that's so weird. Let's say someone's name if you're not going to make a comment. Hm. But pardon me for trying to console you. <laughs> you're so good, Henry. You don't have to say anything. Just you being here is enough. That should be enough, I think. You ever watched a sunrise from start to finish? Once, when I was in high school. High school, huh? I just did it today, although mine came with a twist. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. I pulled an all-nighter. Messed up my sleep schedule. Found myself looking at the sky and requesting my life choices. In high school? I was a little dramatic back then. I was hard on myself for the silliest reasons. Ha! Jeez! Glad that habit didn't stick around. It didn't, did it? I'd like to think not. Good, good. This is so relaxing. Yeah? Thanks for making my morning interesting, Mark. Well, that didn't make it better, but at least it didn't sound bad. Anytime! It- Oh. Bah! Hang on! Hanging on. <laughs> oh. Marco! Good morning. Morning! Where are you right now? Are you okay? Judging from that, I don't think he, I don't think you knew I left the house during a manic episode. Doesn't matter. Sh should I leave? Nah, this will be short. Well, if you don't mind, can you help me get some? Can you help get something for me? Huh? Again? No. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't reject that. I don't want him looking for those things in my room. Fine, just stay out of my room. Thank you, son. Mm-hmm. Henry stares at me confusedly. I think I sort of dampened the teary mood just now. Thinking that we should leave this place, I moved my hand as if I was telling him to go down. Sorry about that, I have to go run a small errand, but hey, hit me up when you're done with class today. Oh, okay, yeah, I was meaning to ask, do you have music appreciation? Nope, better luck next time. Aw, then yeah, I'll see you after class. Ah, he said it! He said the name! Sounds like a plan. Now go home and get a proper breakfast. <laughs> Will do. I waved goodbye, and so did he. And we both went our separate ways. Time to get some shopping done, eh? I went to Publix to get whatever Dad wanted me to buy for him. I really don't like it when he makes me do weird requests like this. And once I'm done doing grocery shopping for him, I took off my, I took off my bus. And the things you need. Next time, just buy them yourself. Thank you, Marco. He walks closer and ruffles my hair. What is he planning right now? Stop that. Yeah, sorry. You don't have school today, do you? No, I'm only repeating English and psychology. Oh, I don't think I've told you yet. I take two subjects this year, because those two those two are the ones I failed last year due to complications. I just want to finish what I've started last year. Once I'm done with this semester, I am so taking a break from school. Don't worry, though, I don't... Wait. Oh, God, I thought that was his dad talking. I thought his dad was going to school, too. Don't worry, though. I don't plan to be a dropout forever. I'll carry on like a normal like, like normal the next year. Since we both are having a day off, how about we go to the park? Oh, all right, guys. I'm going to pause it right here. It's late at night. And I'm getting tired. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. If a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!